we certainly don't want to you know, prescribe certain you know, business models or anything like that. Um, you know, as I said, that you know, we as soon as we make a statement about, oh yes, you know, you should, you should, uh, you know, follow this business model and not that business model, it will be out of date. So I think that you know, what when when we talk about you know outsourcing, there are possibly you know, depending on the data, depending on the data flows, there are ways to um, protect the sensitive nature of the data. So the more um, you know, sensitive the data, the more protections are required. So um, you know, and as I mentioned before, you know, we've leave, we've really kind of left it up to business since they you know know the data that they're collecting or should know the data that they're collecting, um, know the uses of the data to come up with reasonable <coughs> procedures to protect that data. So there are going to be different steps that a company is going to need to take if they are, for instance, shipping out, you know, personalized health data to a third party versus, you know, kind of aggregate, um, you know, information about, I don't know, X, Y, Z, whatever, that's non-personalized, that, um, you know, can't necessarily be tied back to an individual. Um, so, you know, I think that there, there isn't one answer, and it's a very much a sliding scale depending on the data that's, that's at issue.